a uh, collection of a new weekly newspaper strip uh, in, uh, in book form. Um, a, a story, it's a kind of an imaginary travelogue that I did about you know, eight, eight years ago. It's, a, it's um, after doing this uh, Julius Knippel real estate photography strip for about ten years, I needed a vacation from the city. And I uh, said I would do a strip where each week I'm in some foreign place. And there was a vacation Vicente. shows with a musician called Mark Mulcahy. Mark He's Mulcahy. Uh, known from Pete and Pete and the Miracle Legion. He's a pop musician. And um, we've done three full evening music theater things. And a new one coming up in October called Up From The Stacks, which is set in the stacks of the New York Public Library, circa 1970, uh, when I was spent a lot of time there. And, uh, that's, you know, and those, are, those are kind of a parallel, very connected to comics, text and image, you know, mm -hmm. it happens to be sung, but uh, it's a very similar it's in that same tradition, I think. Um, text commenting on image, image commenting on text. That's how they work. They use my drawings, these shows. They're filled with big projected images, but pretty much the same impulse. Write a libretto. Mark sets it to music, and then I make pictures that go with this song. So it's, yeah, both libretto and premiere uh, the first week of October at the uh, New York Public Library at 42nd Street and Lincoln Center. It's a commi joint commission by the Coleman Center for Writers and Scholars at the library. And, and it's on uh, visual narrative, things that I find graphic um, representations that interest me. You know, uh, from everything from early latrines and toilets to to, uh, you know, an alphabet for figure skaters, things like that. The things I'm looking at, other than, I mean, I would just show it to somebody. Mm -hmm. it this way, I'd show it to uh, well, the readers. Research online through archives. There are thousands of archives. And besides Google Books, they're in a private uh, school and academic archive. That's where it's all found. I don't even touch my books. My book, most of my books are in storage. I don't have access to a lot of my old books. Mm -hmm. So it's all, this is all in the, in the digital realm. Okay. But I don't know if you'd know, do you get that sense? No, they're all 19th century and older stuff, so you wouldn't get that sense. Story? You, you can tell how okay. <laughs> The true story is that my mom is the one who puts these books out, and when she first had us collaborate, she wanted me to keep my identity a secret um, for a variety of reasons. And so, Trade and I collaborated on the book with me emailing him from a fake email address, um, and him emailing me back. And we met once or twice in person, but only as my mom's daughter, and I never knew that I was collaborating with him on the book. So. Um, and eventually, we got to actually meet each other, which made collaborating a lot easier. Yes. <laughs> it's a lot nicer. Now we're working on the second one, and we actually can go back and forth and um, do the collaboration a lot more smoothly. But the first one was very good. In, in my defense, she was uh, Rachel Zilt. Yeah, I wasn't very creative. <laughs> Seibelberg. Yeah. Seibelberg. It's my middle and name and my dad's mother's maiden name. Which, which I, uh, I happen to be rereading Mouse. And I noticed that Art's mother's name mm -hmm. was that, and, and so I was like, aha, she's family, that's what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I just didn't know it was Nadja. Yeah. So it's another Zig and Wiki adventure, equally as strange and wacky as this one. Um, it's made called Zig and Wiki in the Cow, and they quite literally get eaten by a cow. Um, <laughs> and um, Trade Girls really adorable cows, so. Work that well. In, inside and out, so yeah. <laughs> so I've got to learn all about cow anatomy. This one is about the food chain, and I'd say the next one is more about really the, the carbon cycle, but it's a lot simpler than that. It's about how everything on Earth is interdependent and needs each other to survive. That one's pretty much done. We're we're a couple pages shy of 
getting it all complete. But yeah. it's it's uh, what do we got? End of May is that one? I think so. The yeah. Drop dead day. I think the cover is the end of this month, and I think end of May for the whole thing to be finished. Um, Tune Books is a series of easy reader comic books. So I learned to read by destroying my parents' comic collection, and in France, everybody learns to read using comics. They're just everywhere. But there's not that many comics for kids in America, and my mom really wanted to make that accessible and in a beautiful format. So she made all these very lavish, learn to read comic books that are very well drawn and well written, and especially ours, obviously. And um, yeah, that they're, they're easy reader comic books. They're level, so we have some that are level one books that I say are for like, the very earliest readers, and then they're all the way up to level three, which is what second would be is. Um, which is like second grade, I think, second, yeah. third grade mm -hmm. for, for ours, and the other ones would probably be like kindergarten. Mm -hmm. No, I, um, I don't think about it as series so much, so, or especially like a Belgian scene, it would be hard, would be hard to talk of a wave because uh, everyone is pretty internationally uh, inspired. And, uh, if I think about interesting American comics, I think uh, first of the picture box things like uh, Ryan Chip and the LCS. Uh, oh, yeah. These things are very different, I think, than the rest of the American. But then again, I'm generalizing. So, this, it's about uh, parties. It's uh, actually the book consists of three chapters, and there are actually three parties. And uh, it's not. It's not so much a plot-driven book, it's mostly people trying to uh, uh, control their image, present themselves in a certain way, and talking about other people, projecting an image on other people. Uh, yeah, that's the fight in it, like, uh, trying to present yourself and, uh, in, a, in, a good, in a good light. Uh, I haven't thought this, uh, about this a lot yet. Uh, the thing is, I really like books, so I really like their thing um, more than um, art shows or things. I like that you can take it home and it becomes a part of your uh, furniture. Um, it's a private expo a book. But um, I've been thinking about the internet thing like, how would I work if I just put everything on the internet? Would I work faster? Would I, I don't know, would it be different? So, oh yeah, I'm telling you, I, I put myself the question, but I forgot to answer it. <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> but it will probably change a lot. Yeah. Uh, there's more of a, if you're making a book, there's definitely, you want to make some jewel box. Something very dense, which uh, the internet you probably would not yeah. need to do. More like television, more like a long stretch. Yeah. It's going to be called The Making Out. Mm -hmm. um, um, it's about uh, the build up to a small art festival in the Flemish countryside. And it's actually about the politics of a really small group of people with different intentions, and different ideas about uh, what's important. And everybody has a different role. So I think the book sort of pretends to be about art, and it might be a little bit, but it's more about a group and the escalation of the different uh, intentions. Well, I study in art school. For at first, I wanted to be in a movie, but. I don't know, it wasn't so much my thing, so after university I, I just start working on construction because I know someone, I know, I know someone, so I go into construction and it was easy. And, but you know, it was a lot of physical work, so at the end of the day I said, I wanted to do something simple, at the beginning I wanted to do something simple, and I, I, I was 24, 22, 24, and I just started like, reading comic books, so, you know, I wasn't reading so much when I was younger, and I said, oh, this is interesting, like how the news is coming out. So I said, well, I should start drawing. And I, by now, I was drawing in, in my comic, and I did this book called Nicolas that they were drawn and published in English too, that will receive a lot of good critics from people.
people seem to like it, so and I got a residency in France, so I just switched. It was like fast to me because I, uh, you know, I started at 24 and at 25, uh, 20, and it was because I wasn't drawing before, so I just like trying to uh, try to learn to draw at the same time. At first, I was drawing, you know, uh, you can see the influence like the show. I was reading Peanuts and I, I said, well, I can do a sort of Charlie Brown face for the face. Because of, and after three years ago, I think I started doing sketchbook, just sketchbook, like sketching people on the street, you know, in a restaurant and everywhere. And my drawing evolved with the sketchbook like, uh, that I keep doing every day. So, I don't really think about the drawing now. I, I, I think about the drawing, but mostly, like in random, like when I do sketchbook, then it's like the mail, like kind of out of it, like the influence I got, like something, something was like a French history and shows and all those things, and with the sketchbook, you know, I don't know. Uh, I did for I did a book who is not translated in Fra and English. Was called Paris in French for a strip. I was doing a strip every day <laughs> that I, at the time, was supposed to be in a newspaper. I had a strip in the newspaper for a while, but it was stopped after you know just one month or something. So I, I, I put them online on a, on a blog. You know. So sometimes I put sketchbook drawing online, but I never like do a comic book try. I don't know. I don't know much. It's also new for me because it's like. I never really thought about it, and it's something that would have five, five years in doing this. So, mm. uh, yeah, I didn't read that. I, I don't really know. I, 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 got, I got a website, but I don't use it. Like, uh, I don't think I know how to use it. <laughs> you, know, you know, I got probably sure that published my stuff, so I'm mostly working for the book more than. If you know, if one time I have a project that could fit the really like web format, I, I'm sure I can use it. But right now, most of it is